ladies love purchasing power, right? And what Bitcoin does is it allows for more purchasing power. What you can buy with a dollar today is not even the same as what you can buy with a dollar six months from now. And uh, to to tie it back, you know, for, to, to Latin American countries, a lot of people in America they get into Bitcoin because they want to get rich, but in Latin America they get into Bitcoin because they don't want to get poor, right? So. For one, keeping in mind that it's purchasing power that matters. While dollars are less volatile, they may seem safer because there is no volatility. It is guaranteed that in the last, uh, you know, since coronavirus, that they've printed at least a fourth of the money supply, meaning your dollar has a fourth less from since the beginning of coronavirus. And it's not as apparent, but thinking of of um, of currency in absolute terms has definitely helped. And you know. Uh, in terms of in terms of uh, like it, it, it like so me growing up, I definitely grew up. You know, I am first generation American. My parents were immigrants. Uh, they moved here because the mountain in the Philippines blew up. I was the first in my family to be born here. First in my family uh, to go to college. Uh, I, I had like a full ride scholarship, um, and I even I would say even until recently, maybe until I was like twenty eight. I, I just turned thirty. I, I had a scarcity mindset and I had to deal with that. And it was like, it, for me, it was understanding that if I get money, it's meant to flow through me, not come to me, but flow through me. And I found like, first of all, I realized that I had a scarcity mindset that I didn't think that there was enough and, and acting out of that, you know, acting out of fear really holds you back. Um, so knowing that like the universe or whatever has your back, as long as your intention is to push things through for the bettering of everybody, that really helps. Like, I mean, it just gives us so much peace. And I think that's really why women, you know, they're more likely to save or they're more likely to spend money on um, helping people, right? Is because they see, they see this, uh, that, that, that there's, there's lack and it's not true. You know, me growing up in a family, I have, I have six siblings, right? So money was tight for us when we were growing up. And so sometimes I do think, oh man, the rug's going to get pulled out from under me. Um, I have to fend for myself, but you know, over the years, it's just, it's been knowing that, Hey, this opportunity is, is for me. It's not for anybody else. It's for me. And if I take it, great. Like the only good could come from this because I know this opportunity is for me. Uh, and then if, if nothing, if, if it's not for me, then it will pass on, right. Knowing like there's so many different opportunities that pass up to us. So if one comes to me and it's not a good fit, there's another one right around the corner, you know, in, in college. So interesting. I, um, I applied for so many scholarships in college that, these company, these scholarship companies, they, they, my tuition was already paid off. My room and board was already paid off. They could not do anything but deposit the money in my bank account, right? And it was because I created space for opportunity. It was like I had applied to so many different scholarships, even scholarships that I knew I wasn't eligible for. It was like scholarships for you know certain certain people of color, certain whatever that I actually was technically not eligible for. And you know people in the business school versus this school. But I would just send my send my application out, and a lot of times one of the biggest scholarships that I got, which all of it was like ten thousand dollars directly into my bank account, right? Because I already had scholarship money enough to cover school. Um, I just changed a couple of words from, from some paragraph that I had written before and I won it. And the reason why was because one, nobody else was applying. Right. And then two, I mean, I'm a pretty good writer, but it was, it was the fact that like, that I learned that nobody applies for these things, the money, the help, all of it's out there. But for one, we have to ask, which I feel like sometimes for women is hard. You know, we don't want to ask for help necessarily. Um, but for two, it's like, you need to make yourself open for opportunity. 